Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video we are going to take a look at what exactly happened to the markets today, what we can expect from the markets tomorrow as well as what happened to our trade. So first I'll show a quick glimpse of what exactly happened to our trade. So today we ended with a total profit of 1.3 lakh and as we move across this trade I'll be showing you the live recording of how exactly we managed the positions. Nowadays V-shaped move has become very common in the market and every now and then we are seeing the market suddenly falls then there is a huge bounce back again there is profit booking and this keeps on repeating day after day and today was no less. In the morning there was close to 70 point gap down and later immediately the selling continued. So it just didn't stop at 70 points it almost went on till close to 170 points and odd. So Nifty actually broke even 17100 but as we had discussed 17000 is a very strong support for the market. As the market approached 17000 we saw some very strong buying in banking stocks and bank nifty at a point was up by close to 1% and it also crossed 38,000 and while bank nifty was rallying even nifty started rallying. So all the way from the bottom of close to 17,080 or 17,070 market bounced back close to 250, 300 points all the way to 17,350. So it was almost around 300 point bounce in nifty just in matter of two to three hours and from there again the market further ended up crashing 1% and it closed around 17,200. So when market is moving so violently it becomes very hard for a trader to manage the intraday positions. If you actually look at the overall market breadth today it was actually negative. So in nifty you can see out of 50 stocks 38 stocks ended in red as well as 12 stocks only ended in green. So initially it was the banking sector which actually ended up doing quite well. So when I say initially during the first half of the day and later some strength was seen in IT as well. But if you look at the overall market breadth that was extremely bad because out of around 2000 actively traded stocks in NSC close to 1700 were losers and only hardly around 250 to 60 stocks actually ended up gaining. So overall market breadth was very bad and most of the stocks today ended in red. That will bring us to the next question of what we can expect from the market tomorrow. So when we actually look at the open interest uh, here, so today both puts as well as calls gained. But one thing here is there was some unwinding of puts at higher level and addition of puts at lower levels. That means when we look at the overall picture of uh, nifty open interest what we do get to see is that there is a very strong support coming in at 17,000 and there is a very strong resistance coming in at 17,500. So the market width still remains to be slightly negative uh, given that there are more number of calls compared to puts. So for this expiry uh, we can definitely look at a range from 17,000 to 17,500. So today again we have seen Nifty take some good support around 17,000 and bounce back and this is expected to act as a good support for this entire week as well. So now if we look at the bank Nifty. So bank Nifty was also quite volatile today. So it almost came to 37,000 then went up to 38,000 and again came back to 37,500 the volatility was at its peak. So when we look at the bank nifty data, so the PCR ratio is suggesting 1. That means there is almost equal amount of puts as well as calls. And the good thing is uh, there is some strong put writing at lower levels which definitely indicates good support for banking stocks. And in higher levels you can see some good uh, resistance at 38,000 as well as 38,500. So broadly speaking uh, we can expect a range between 37,000 to 38,500 for bank nifty for this particular expiry. So this is given that uh, there is uh, no news coming from Russia or Ukraine saying that there is a war which has started. Uh, so in such cases uh, all this support resistance open interest is going to make no sense because the market is just going to go on its own. So that time it will become more of sentiment driven rather than data driven. So as long as there is no news breakout we should expect these levels to be held. 
So that will bring us to the final part. How exactly did we manage this volatile day? So here is where uh, we did some adjustments to our intraday trade as well. So I'll be showing you the entire video as to what exactly happened before which uh, I would uh, like to explain on charts as it will help you to get a better perspective. So around 9.30 when market was almost at its lowest point, we entered 17,100 short straddle. So after that, uh, what happened is uh, Nifty just uh, took support right over here and started bouncing back up. So while this bounce back happened, VIX as well as IV cooled down. So even though the market was bouncing back up, so the calls weren't gaining, but the put was losing a lot of premium. So we actually entered into profit right away as soon as the market started to bounce. And at this point, we had a positive of close to 45, 50,000. So again, Nifty came down. Again, there was a bounce back up. At this point, we were close to 60K positive. And from here, Nifty actually started to move higher and higher. So Nifty now crossed 17,200 as well. And our stop loss on the call side was triggered. So 17,100C stop loss got triggered and now we only had PE short leg left. So that means if the market actually continued to move little higher, then we would definitely be in very good profits because now we only have a PE leg left. So now around 11.30, what happens is that the market actually comes towards 17,250. So here I decide to do one more short straddle because uh, my idea was uh, pretty simple that the thing is over on the downside, we have some good support at 17,200 and on the upside, we have some very strong resistance at 17,300. So my idea was if we do a short straddle at 17,250 and I was expecting a 50 point range in the markets. So I ended up doing a short straddle at 17,250 and I also have my 17,100 PE still left. So this I still haven't closed. So now the market actually immediately starts to move up. It doesn't even consolidate for a while and immediately it goes up till 17,300. So as it moves towards 17,300, my 17,250 CE also triggers the stop loss. Now I am basically left with two PE legs. So I'm left with 17,100 PE and I'm also left with 17,250 PE. So I have a lot of PE legs with me now. And if the market actually reverses, it is going to be a disaster for me. So that's why uh, the market ends up consolidating. And what I do here is I end up creating one more short straddle at 17,300. So right at this point, I create one more short straddle. If you observe one thing that FII selling usually comes around 1.45, 2 o'clock. So that's when they start selling quite a lot. And it is not just today. Even if you go back to four or five days and observe the pattern, post 2 o'clock is when the selling is actually coming. So I was very skeptical about this uh, point because first of all, I have so much put legs with me. And uh, in case if the selling comes, then I'm going to lose a lot. So I'll show this to you in the video as well. So the thing is, now, since I had only put leg left and since it was a very good rally, this 17,100 puts had given me a lot of profit. Right now, we were sitting at a profit of close to 1 lakh already. So I had 1 lakh profit. Now, my intention is not to maybe make 2 lakh, but the intention is now not to lose the 1 lakh what I have earned. So it doesn't matter from this point, if Nifty actually goes to 17,400. But my fear is what if Nifty falls to 17,200 because I have only put legs left. So this is where I do this adjustment called as counter. So you might have watched this in our adjustment video. So here I do an adjustment called as counter. So I end up shorting far out of money call legs. So even if Nifty actually went up, I had no issues because I had already gained and there was a lot of put legs with me. And even if it was actually going up, I would end up gaining. So the thing is, uh, at this point, I end up shorting 17,500 call option as well as 17,400 call option along with my 17,300 short straddle, which I have right now. 
and luckily for me the market actually ends up reversing so the thing is um this time our anticipation actually turned out to be true because at two o'clock we had seen fis coming and selling that's the reason at around this point we ended up shorting a lot of call legs and this particular uh idea of shorting call legs actually saved us close to 60000 rupees and uh, immediately when the market fell our profit dropped from 1 lakh to close to 80000 and we immediately came out of the legs now after this uh, what i end up doing is i create one more uh, simple short straddle at 17250 i book around 15000 so from 80000 i jump all the way to 95000 and Finally, when I it actually crosses one lakh ten thousand and odd again, it uh, comes back. I'm like, anyways, I'm at a profit of fifteen thousand. So let me just uh, book the profit. So I end up booking, and further I exit everything and create one more short straddle at seventeen thousand two hundred. So even at this point, we actually end up going to one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh twenty five thousand. Again, the market becomes little volatile, and I book everything with again profit of close to fifteen k. So overall, uh, we closed the intraday positions with a profit of close to one lakh ten thousand, and uh, our positional trade we got around twenty k. So overall, uh, we closed the day with somewhere close to one lakh thirty thousand profit. So it is a good thing that uh, we were able to manage through a completely V-shaped day. So the idea still remains the same. When we are losing, if we end up losing less, uh, we can consistently make money. When we actually end up. gaining and coming to our positional trade as i already mentioned we have a short strangle at 17000 and 17500 these are the levels we are expecting uh, nifty to actually hold and in bank nifty we have a short straddle at 37000 and 38500 so these are again levels which we are expecting to hold so all the positions are completely hedged because there is a lot of uncertainty and it doesn't make sense to hold any naked position So we should wait and watch uh, what exactly happens tomorrow. So I'll be coming out with another video tomorrow as to what exactly happened to the intraday trades and also the positional one. As you can see that we have slowly transitioned to mainly intraday from positional because the market is pretty volatile and uh, positional it's becoming pretty hard to manage. So previously if you remember up until August we only did intraday. So the thing is uh After that what exactly ended up happening is intraday the movements were pretty wild but uh, close to close basis the market actually moved nowhere so that's when we slowly started to transition towards positional and now uh, positional the market is moving everywhere so it becomes easier to uh, navigate through our intraday trades rather than positional so again we are slowly now shifting back to intraday so we are changing however the situation demands right now we feel that uh, trading in huge quantity with positional is quite tricky so that's why uh, we have stuck to intraday so this is how today's trade went and uh, with this we also come to the end of this video and i hope that you guys have liked this video if so then please do hit the like button share this video as well as subscribe to optionables thank you so much for joining guys